A controversial halfway house in Edwardsville is about to be vacant. Neighbors were outraged when three sex offenders and a convicted murderer moved in. But tonight, as KNBC 9's Peggy Bright reports, they're relieved those residents are moving out. I'm glad it's over. Matthew Dilly is one of many neighbors who'd been up in arms over this house. They found out it had been turned into a halfway house, not from the landlord, but when telephone alerts about sex offenders started pinging them. That was a month ago, and neighbors got organized. It's been made clear that <clears throat> that kind of uh, residence isn't going to be tolerated by the, by the neighborhood. For starters, the house backs up to a walking trail and park, and the area counts many children among its residents. But for the past month, parents haven't been letting their kids outside. Police, city, and state officials began talking. After a lot of discussion, the people of this neighborhood and this house, everyone up to the Department of Corrections all agreed this was not the best place for these people to be living. Neighbors tell us two have moved out already. The other two are on their way out. Now they'll work with the city council on trying to stop this from happening again. In Edwardsville, Peggy Bright, KMBC 9 News. Edwardsville police say there were never any problems at the house or with its residents.